Hello everyone and welcome to this video and on this one I've got 20 kilos of low grade boards which on this video I'm going to remove some of the items um, and see if we can increase the value and get bonus items left in the sense of there's 20 kilos 50 pence a kilo so theory, theoretically there's 10 pounds worth of board here in money value what i'm going to do is take some items off and weigh what i've taken off subtract that from the weight so if, an example if i take off a kilo's worth of items and so that then drops the value to nine pound fifty and then the items i've taken off if i can if they are worth more then 50 pence to break even then we're not at a loss but if we make more than 50 pence on what i've taken off and we get a lot of extra stuff then that's profit or you can think of you've made your 10 pound and you're getting bonus items that theoretically are actually free even though these were free they're still worth 10 pound but if i can take stuff off get my 10 pound and have items left then them items are basically free the one thing i want to say for something to ponder on and think about is in the uk these boards if you depopulate them then the boards what's left is worthless they won't buy it some countries like america uh, i think you can depopulate them and you can still sell what's left the boards as low grade because it doesn't matter how much is on it it's still low grade so if you take stuff off it's still low grade but here in the uk the place i know and quite a few other places if you depopulate them too much then they won't even buy them at all so you can end up ruining it and getting no money only for the items you're taking off so what i'm going to do here is just take a few items off each thing like some of these copper coils a few MOSFETs, some of these, and the fuses, maybe odd one of these, um, like on here, might take one or two of these off, but leave the transformers, might take just one aluminium heat shield off. Um, there's on this one, take off the gold, gold cap fuses. The ICs and I did see one that had some gold pins yeah yeah cut off these few gold pins and stuff like that so the board is still virtually as it is now just minus a couple of things because what I'm thinking is let's just put you up here is originally when people used to buy circuit boards there was many two maybe three grades low grade which is these mid grades like the pc boards the peripheral boards and then like your high-end stuff like uh, server boards over the years refiners have found out and worked out what types of boards they're getting the best values out that's when you started getting more different grades of boards especially in america like board sort you go on there and there's an endless endless amount of different types of categories like low preferable high preferable boards server high server and you get my my drift because refiners have worked out those ones are better so they price it different but with these there's just one grade but when people are start taking too much off and depopulating them eventually the refiners are going to start thinking hang on a minute we're not getting the profits we used to because they used to buy them complete obviously they're getting the copper silver gold platinum aluminium and all the other stuff they get off these items obviously it's not as good as medium grade and high grade boards this is mainly, mainly copper and aluminium when they start realizing hang on a minute people are taking a lot of stuff off depopulating them and then it's not worth their while buying them what they'll end up doing is getting or bringing out different grades of low-grade boards 
So you've got low grade board where it's highly populated and a lot of stuff on with big things like this. A lot of copper, a lot of transformers, and then they'll probably start doing another another grade board. Something like this one. There's only a few small coils of copper. And then they might stop altogether buying depopulated boards. So what I'm doing is just taking a few things off. So when I'm selling them, they're still getting the majority, 90% of what's on here. Because my like I say, my book, my place won't buy them depopulated. They don't mind taking the odd thing off. But the more people that completely strip them or take too much stuff off, in the long you might be making more money now, but in the long run, I think everybody will shoot themselves in the foot and then ruin the whole low grade board system. And then people, refiners, might refuse to buy them altogether. Because what they're recovering is going down because people are completely stripping them. Which the low grade boards just take a few things off to increase your profit a bit and then sell the boards with the majority of the stuff on. It keeps them happy and then you've got a, per a permanent source of selling boards. If, like I say, if too many people strip them down too much. I will give it 12 months when refiners and companies that buy boards click on to what people are doing by stripping down too much. I think we'll find that things will start changing on the low board categories and they'll start bringing more out or stop it altogether. But anyway, I just want to get that in at the beginning part on the video. Give people something to think about because most people on my analysis uh, YouTube studio, most people jump off my videos at about three minutes. But I want to get that in, not at the end, because no one will see it. So, anyway, let's me look a rambling. I'll probably have people disagreeing with me, which you can comment and have a discussion about it. I'll get back to what we're doing. So, what I'll do, I'll take some of these stuff off, stuff off, and then we'll come back and have a look what I've taken off and what the boards look like when I've finished. So, you know, see that I haven't taken too much off. But like I say, Keep the buyer happy, in the long run keeps us happy, having somewhere to sell them. And then we'll see what profit we'll make and stuff like that. So a lot of you probably think it's the first boss a bit boring, but you'll get better on the next section. And I'll be back with you very soon. See you in a bit. Finished taking off what I wanted to take off and stripped them all down, separated the copper and a few things. And this is the results of what I've done to improve the value a little bit and not really make much difference to the boards and what I've got. So, as you can see, the boards don't really look much different. So, that's still. Decent boards, decent low grade boards for the person who, well, the company that buys them, at least then who they sell them to, are going to still be happy because there's a lot of copper and aluminium on. So, the purchaser will still be happy with those. Plus, then what I've got is all the copper out of the motors and stuff, and the copper toys and stuff, whatever you call them, different things. It's all the copper off the bits that I've taken off. Some uh, aluminium, MOSFETs, these different types of capacitors for future silver recovery. Can't see with my LED lights in my workshop. Gold plated pins and some gold fuses. IC chips. I think they're three leg transistors which I'm trying to get uh, about 500 grams of those together because apparently there's a tiny bit of gold in them which I want to do an experiment when I've got half a kilo of these and try out my homemade blue block blue bowl sluice and see 
if there is any gold in those. Just a little bit of insulated wire. There's a few components there with coppering I haven't stripped down. Relays for the copper and silver contacts and some fuses there later. Silver cover. Now I'll just put that up here and I'll show you the figures. So the boards at the very beginning was 20, exactly 20 kilos. Well, it's 20 kilos and four grams, but 20 kilos at uh, 50 pence a kilo. So if I sold the boards as they were, would have been in UK money, uh, 10 pounds. And I weighed everything that I took off before stripping down. It came to um, 2,827 grams. So that's 2.827 kilograms. So what I did was subtracted that from the 20 kilos. So that would be the equivalent to £1.41. So the boards would be worth then £8.59. And obviously when I stripped the little transformers and stuff and the screws are taken out, all that comes to 458 grams. So the scrap metal value of the bits and pieces would only be five pence. All that copper there is 567 grams. So that's three pounds 68 pence worth of copper. A bit of aluminium here is 344 grams so that's around 24 pence going by prices of scrap yard me so a little bit of scrap metal the aluminium and the copper comes to a value of three pound 87 so if you add the three pound 87 with the price of what the boards are now because they're a little bit lighter is 12 pound 46 so i've in increased the value by selling the aluminium bit of scrap metal the aluminium bit of scrap metal the copper and the boards now is worth 12 pound 46 so taking a few items off i've increased the value by 2 pound 46 not lowered the quality of the boards by much and now as i think in my head is i've increased the value there so all these here are what i class as these are free items now totally free because i've made my money then what i would have if i didn't have any of this made more and i'm left with the mosfets they're around 40 percent copper recovery in them these future sub recovery and i've got my gold pins my IC chips and I've still got a few items here with copper in that so all this here is a bonus and this here I've made an extra £2.46 so I've increased the value and I've got all these bonus items some people might see that differently but that's how my mindset is if I strip something down to increase the value and be left with extra items. So I um, hope that's a little bit informative and just an insight on how I do things or how I'm going to do things in the future. If anybody's interested in seeing a bit more of what I'm taking off after I've taken them off or see video parts of me taking the things off or if you want an exact rundown on these bonus items what the weights are or what they're at these are actually worth then just put a comment and i'll start adding them bits of more information or more videos and in to the mix but i'm trying to make it as smooth as possible without you seeing all the boring bits which to me isn't boring but some people just like what's before what's after and the values that's it but if you want a bit more let me know and i'll start trying to 
arrange my videos to what people are more interested in. And uh, I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, brilliant. And see you soon. Bye for now.